Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Have you ever wondered what a wheel would look like on your car, but didn't have access to it to put on the car to see what it would actually look like before buying it? Well, there's an app for that. Before we get too much into the upload today, guys, yeah, I need some gas. Who would have thought that the ZR1 is a little bit of a gas guzzler? All right, so we got gas, which is way too expensive in Pennsylvania, by the way. Now, we need to go somewhere that has pretty cool cars so I can demonstrate this app for you. Do we know of a place that has awesome cars all the freaking time? Yes, we do. It's called Blackout Tinning, guys. Let's head up there now. All right, guys, so here we are at Blackout Tinning. We're just in the parking lot right now, and I'm looking around, and there's already a couple cool cars here. So we obviously have a blue i8, and of course, we're gonna start with my ZR1. You guys are probably wondering by now, what app am I talking about? It's actually called Aerolari, which is a really cool name, obviously implying some aerodynamics and kind of sounding like Ferrari at the end there. I've actually gotten to be pretty good friends with the owner of the app, the creator of the app. He actually runs a C8 Corvette group on Facebook as well. He's a really awesome dude. And I told him his timing couldn't have been better because if you guys remember not too long ago, I was actually up here at Blackout Tinning to swap wheels over onto the ZR1 because I wanted to know what bronze wheels would look like on here. Now, if I had waited uh, probably about two more weeks, I would have gotten wind of this particular app and you can really see what they would look like on it at that point. But without further ado, guys, let's jump into the app. I want to show you exactly what it can do. So this is the app here, guys. What we're going to do is in the very beginning here, we're going to click on the hollow spec, which is the top left icon. That's going to allow us to choose a couple different brands of wheels. Like I said, the app creator is really good with this stuff, so he is constantly adding wheels. But for now, we're going to select the forge line options. I have four different options here. We can go through all the colors of the rainbow, basically, and a bunch of different sizes as well. So we're going to start at the very far left and go with the NW101. So if we select that, you're going to see this page here, and then we're also going to hit open all of spec. Then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. This is going to load up your camera, and as you can see, there is my car. Now, you can see the little button that showed up there, the blue button that says tap to place. If I hit that, it basically puts these wheels here. So you can select each wheel, drag it to where you want it to be. Like so. And don't worry too much about the size or anything right now because we can change that in a minute. So once you get them about where you want them, you'll go up to the top right and select the gear icon. And then from here, you can select micro adjustments up and down, as well as change the color. Let's move that one a little bit more. We'll change it to, we'll say graphite. And you can actually change them individually as well. So we'll change the front one to silver. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I selected, you, you can select one or two, so we'll change the rear one to graphite, and then you gotta deselect it and select the front one, and we'll change that one to gold. So you can have two different colors on there as well. Definitely pretty cool, but you guys have seen a lot of my car, so let's move on to the next one. So we're jumping back into the app. As you can see, it's kind of picking up right where we left off. 
I can pull these wheels over here, turn them a little bit, see if we can give the i8 a little bit nicer set of wheels. So, same thing here though, guys. We're gonna basically move the wheels around, position them where we want them, and then go in and make some micro adjustments to move the actual wheel up to cover up the stock ones. So right around there. It is really sunny out here. I'm, I'm having trouble seeing my screen, so these might not be perfect, but once we go inside, we'll get a little bit better from there. So let's see, that one's pretty good. We'll go ahead and change these to brushed aluminum. Check that out. Look how awesome that is, guys. I mean, literally, if you ever wondered what these wheels would look like on your i8, you now know. Definitely awesome stuff. Like I said, the creator of the app is a really cool dude, and it, it really gives you a, a real good idea. While, while you can even move the camera around, you can sit in the car, everything, it gives you an idea of what that's gonna look like. While we're here, we're also gonna go ahead and get some more of the Blackout Chevy bow tie cover vinyls at Blackout Tinning because I need some more. You guys keep buying them. Like I said, I'm gonna keep getting them for you, but for those of you who haven't seen these yet, just check that out especially on a black car I mean it it just it needs this just so happened to be that there is another c7 here so you guys can see what it looks like without the actual vinyl so we get that nice slice of gold that literally doesn't match anything else on the car but this particular owner I'm not sure what they're even here for but they, they definitely could benefit from one of those like I said guys if you're interested in those black badges send me an email horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com and I'll make sure this does not happen to you. Because it's so sunny out here, it's kind of hard for me to see the screen, but I want you guys to understand, you can get this thing to look absolutely perfect. You will never even be able to tell that those wheels aren't actually on your car. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna actually head inside and see if the lighting in there is any better for this. This particular day here in Pennsylvania, believe it or not, it is really sunny and there is no shade at all in this parking lot. So I'm gonna head inside and show you what this app would more than likely look like on a normal basis. All right guys, so we just walked into blackout tinning and here's the car that i would have if i didn't have a black zr1 i think it would be a black zl1 i mean the, the logo is already red so you can't go wrong there right anyway i'm going to try the app on this car because even though these stock wheels are freaking awesome it's a lot better lighting in here so i think it will work better let's go with something that looks like the zr1 wheels just scan the floor again and we'll go ahead and place these things. Just put them about where you want them. And then we'll move them up with the micro adjustments here. Right about there. Yeah, you guys can see this looks better than it did outside already. So it's a little too sunny outside today. So check that out, guys. It now looks like it has a set of forge lines on it. So it's a nice car, no matter how you cut it, but it looks cool like this. If you select one of these wheels, we can go ahead and change the color, like I said before. We'll change it to gold on this too, see what it looks like. There it is, not bad. In case you guys are wondering, this car is getting a ceramic coating. That's what Patrick's doing there in the background, but pretty cool. So outside of blackout tinning, this is actually the owner, Josh's Porsche 944. He's put a lot of work and time into this car to get it fully operational, and he finally did. So he ended up replacing all of the seals on the engine, all of the exhaust, everything is basically redone, just so no oil leaks, no coolant leaks, nothing. This car is perfect. But we're actually gonna go inside, we're gonna mess with him. I'm gonna tell him I saw a huge puddle of oil under here. It's always funny to see how he reacts to that stuff. We're about to head into blackout tinning now and tell the owner, Josh, that his Porsche 944 that he has put a massive amount of work into is leaking oil. Let's see how he reacts. Hey, Josh, I was just talking a little bit your Porsche. Guess what? Front right tire's flat. There's a puddle of oil on there. Are you serious? No, I'm joking. 
Say hi to the camera, Josh. <laughs> All right, guys, and we are back from blackout tinning. So as you guys saw up there, the Aero Lari app is pretty cool. It gives you a real good idea of what different wheels would look like on your car without having to spend the money to find out the hard way you don't like them. As usual, while we were up at blackout tinning, we also got some more bow ties cut because like I said, guys, this is really the way that this thing should look, especially if you have the carbon flash painted badge that should be black. And apparently a lot of you guys think so too because I've been selling those things like crazy. So if you guys are interested in something like that, shoot me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com and I'll make sure you get a set. Like I said before, one set covers the front and the rear badge. So you only need to buy one to get both parts of the C7 covered. If you guys have any questions about the Aero Lowry app, I will go ahead and list it down in the description below so you can download it yourself. I know for sure it is available on Android as as well as I believe iOS. So I will put all the information down below. I'll even link to the C8 group on Facebook that the creator of the Aero Lari app runs because it's one of the best C8 groups on the internet. You get a lot of really good information and there's not a whole lot of know-it-alls on there, which is really, really, really a huge thing with groups on Facebook. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. So if you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the content we talked about here today or ever on the channel, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below or shoot me an email at the horsepowerobsessed at gmail.com address. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of C7 and C8 content coming soon. You're not going to want to miss. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next upload.